Hello guys, welcome to today's lesson. I'm teacher Masewa and today we'll be doing differentiation. Okay, so if you want to learn how to differentiate, tune in. So if you have y equals to x to the power n, y is, is equals to x to the power n, when you differentiate, you are supposed to show that you are differentiating dy over dx. It means that we are differentiating y with respect to x. We are differentiating y with respect to x. So here we are going to have n. The first step when you differentiate, you drop the power. Okay, you drop the power and then you subtract y from the power. So this is how you differentiate. Okay, let's get to number one. Number one, we have y equals to 3x squared. y equals to 3x squared. So we're going to say dy over dx, dy over dx is equals to, you drop the power, so we're going to have 2 times 3x2 minus 1. Right, so this is 6x because 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 6x dy over dx. Okay, so number 2 we have y equals to 2x cubed minus 4x. So when you differentiate this, the first step dy dx, dy dx, to show that you are differentiating this with respect to x. Right, and then we are going to drop the power. We're going to have 3 times 2x, and then you subtract 1 from the power minus 4x. This is the same as to the power 1, so 1 minus 1. Right, so we're going to have we're going to have 6x squared, 6x squared minus 4 because x to the power 0 is 1. Okay. Let's get to number 3. f of x is equal to 2x to the power of 5 minus 4x squared plus 5. This is a function. Do not use dy dx. If it's f of x, we're going to use f prime x is equal to. Now it shows that you have started differentiating, right? So you drop the power 5 times 2x to the power 5 minus 1 minus you drop this power, right? We're going to have 2 times 4x, 2 minus 1. And this one is a constant. A constant just vanishes, okay? It just goes away. It's the same as 0. So there's no need for you to write plus 0, okay? Then you simplify. This is going to be 10x to the power 4 minus 8x. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so this is how you differentiate. Let's get to number 4. Okay, number 4 we have y equals to 2 plus x all over x to the power 4. When it's like this, when you have a denominator, you make sure that we change this into a numerator. We simplify the whole thing so that we'll be able to differentiate, right? So this is the same as 2 over x to the power 4 plus x over x to the power 4, which is the same as 2x to the power negative 4 plus, you know that when, when you are dividing numbers of the same base, okay, when you are dividing terms of the same base, you can see that we have x and x. Here is to the power 1. Right, you subtract the powers, you subtract the power, so we're going to have 1 minus 4. So here we're going to have x to the power negative 3. Okay, now we can differentiate this. Now we can differentiate this. So we're going to have dy over dx, dy over dx, right? You drop the power first, negative 4 times 2 x to the power negative 4 minus 1. 
you always subtract one from the power plus you drop the power negative three x to the power negative three minus one okay so negative four times two is negative eight x to the power negative four minus one is negative five minus three x to the power negative four right and you write your final answer properly okay so this is the same as negative eight over x to the power five minus three over x to the power four this is the final answer i hope you now know how to differentiate now let's get to gradient okay you may be asked to find the gradient of the curve using differentiation method so now i'm going to show you how to find the gradient of the curve using differentiation method okay so number one we have find the gradient of the curve y equals to f of x when x equals to six right so we're going to find the gradient of this curve at x equals to six the first step you differentiate the first step you differentiate so we're going to have f prime x f prime x equals to 12 x 12 x minus 9 x to the power 2 minus 5 right 12 x minus 9 x squared minus 5 right now we're supposed to find the gradient when x equals to 6 right when x equals to 6 so when x equals to 6 we're going to have 12 where you see x you substitute 6 6 minus 9 6 squared minus 5 right and you can punch the whole thing in your calculator you can punch the whole thing in your calculator right we're going to get negative 257 we're going to get negative 257 Number two, the curve y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3 has a gradient of negative 1 at the point where x equals to a. Find the value of a. It has a gradient of negative 1. Okay? To find gradient, you know that you differentiate. dy over dx is the gradient. dy over dx is the gradient. So dy over dx is 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4. Okay? And then they told us the gradient is negative 1. So when we see dy dx, we substitute with negative 1. Negative 1 is equals to 2x minus 4, right? And then we're going to take negative 4 the other side. So it means that we have negative 1 plus 4. Negative 1 plus 4, which is 3, right? So we're going to have 3 is equals to 2 x right and then we divide by 2 both sides we divide by 2 both sides x equals to 3 over 2 which means that a is equals to 3 over 2 then we are done they just wanted to find the value of a where x is equals to a we have our x we have our a okay number three Find the coordinate of the point on the curve y equals to 7 minus 3x minus 2x squared where the gradient is 5. Where the gradient is 5. Yeah. So you differentiate. We're going to differentiate. And the gradient is 5. So dy over dx equals to 5. dy over dx equals to 5. So we're going to have dy over dx is equals to this one. It's a constant. Right? Negative. 3x if you differentiate this you're going to get negative 3 and then if you differentiate this you know that you drop the power and subtract 1 from the power so negative 3 minus 4x right and you are told that the gradient is 5 so we're going to have 5 is equals to negative 3 minus 4x right we take this 3 the other side 5 plus 3 is 8 so we're going to have 8 is equals to negative 4x 8 is equals to negative 4x we divide by negative 4 both sides we divide by negative 4 both sides our x is equals to negative 2 
here you are supposed to find the coordinates you are supposed to find the coordinates okay so we're going to substitute we're going to substitute negative two in the original equation right we have y y to the plus two seven minus three times x and our x is negative two negative two minus two negative two squared right we are finding the coordinate okay so we're going to have seven seven negative three times negative two is positive six minus minus this one is negative two squared negative two squared is four four times negative two is negative eight right you can punch this in your calculator and get the final answer right you can punch this and get the final answer so this is going to be five this is going to be five okay so it means that our coordinate our coordinate is negative two five this is our coordinate that's our coordinate okay okay i hope you understood today's lesson whereby we were differentiating and finding the gradient of a curve so make sure to download a worksheet and practice next video is going to be on maximum and minimum of a stationary point or of a turning point okay love you